There we go, perfect lighting. Can you tell which is which? Can I find a Z? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. Today, I would like to look at a feature in Orca Slicer, which is the scarf joint seam. Let's scratch today's topic. So I made three design. Super simple one. The first one is a cube. This one is a cylinder. And this is a half circle. These are a very common shape in 3D printing because they're easy to print. And very common things use these kind of shape. Let's first look at the square or the cube. And I put a seam right here. Hopefully you can see that. That's the seam right there. It usually go on the side or the sharpest corner, but for this demonstration purpose, I manually painted the seam right there. And you can see this is without the scarf joint. This is just the normal seam. The next one is this cylinder one. And the seam is right. The seam is... It's right there. You can definitely see the seam right there. There's a C right there, you can see it very easily. And for the circle, it's very easy to see in the circle because it's a sphere shape and you can totally tell that there's a C, but the Y is just not picking up that well. The second cube I print with the scarf joint seam is this cube. So let's take a look. Um, I put the seam in the middle again, but you can barely see it there, but it's very, very minimal. It's right there, but you barely see it. So look at this. If we compare the both, right? They are perfectly lined up. The top one is the one that has the normal seam. And the bottom one is the one that has the scarf seam. And you can see on the top one, you can definitely see the seam. On the bottom one, you see a little bit, but it's less noticeable. Which is so cool and so nice. I'm going to switch them so that you won't... Like, you see that? Yeah, look at that. Even if I switch them and the lighting is hitting it, you can still clearly tell that there's a seam here. I barely tell that there's a seam here. The scarf joint seam is doing really good on these cube. You barely see it, but okay. Let's let's not use the white anymore because it's too bright. I have a feeling white was not the best color to showcase this because it's so bright. Uh, so I printed with blue color and you can see it so much more clearly right there like that. This one is the normal one that's printed with just normal seam. And you can clearly see there's a seam. The second cube here is with the scarf joint seam. And you can still tell it, but it's significantly less. Look at this. Okay. There we go. Perfect lighting. Can you tell which is which? Yeah, that's right. This one is the scarf joint. This one is the normal seam. You can see there's a huge difference on this blue color. That one is very minimal, and that one is like, there's three corner. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. This will also help with tolerance. I have not tested yet, but in the past, when I print tolerance part, the only reason why it's not fitting, it's because of the seam. I gotta send it down or something like that. But now, the scarf joint is basically not there. It's like, we, I feel like it reduced the seam by almost 75% which is so cool. Let's take a look at the cylinder. I can't find the Z. Can I find the Z? <laughs> okay, there we go. Just gonna stack on top of each other so that we can see it so much more easier. Look at that. The bottom one is the one normal. The top one is with the scarf joint and oh my gosh, look at that. You can definitely see that the seam is almost gone. Yeah, of course, the seam will never be gone. Maybe Maybe next year, people will figure out a way to get rid of the seam. But as for right now, this scarf joint one is very is doing a very good job. Let's take a look at the circle. And it's gone. And I'm going to make a ball out of it. Look at that. Look at that. The seam is right there. You can definitely see it. Which side has the scarf seam? Which side has the normal seam? Do you, can you tell? Of course, you can tell. The bottom one, you can tell that it has a seam, a huge one. And the top one, it's the scarf joint, which you barely tell that it's there. If you look at like this far, you can't really tell it, which is so cool. Wow. 3D printing are getting so advanced, man. You can print crazy stuff like this in just a matter of a couple minutes. <laughs> a cube kind of shape is the most common shape that we use for 3D printing because most of the thing is pretty much square, right? The phone is square, your bed is square. Even the 3D printers are pretty rounded with square off. Most items are like a straight and a curve. 
kind of thing so wow it reduces by so much the scarf joint seam and to be mindful of this is just one click of a button i just enable scarf joint seam contour and that's it and i get this good result i think if i mess around with it more which i will be doing i would definitely get a way better result than just the one click and just print oh my gosh look at that well that is basically it with this video i just want to quickly cover or go over the scarf joint seam and orca slicer's new update because this will be game changing for those people that love tolerance printing like me <laughs> so yeah it's really good you're like people that like sanding stuff and then painting it this scarf joint seam will be so much better to do that it would be so much easier but that is it with this video of me looking at or testing the scarf joint seam and as always keep on 3d printing